Good morning, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I'm suffering. <laughs> After nearly two years of never having caught a cold or anything, now I got one. And sure, okay, it, the cough didn't travel into the lungs. Thank God, that would be so much worse for everyone around me. But it's definitely sitting in my bronchioles. It's getting better. I finally got my avocado CT, which is a natural antibiotic, by the way. And uh, you just make a tea, and because it's a nut, in a way, you have to, it's not like a, a leaf tea uh, that you should never boil. Uh, but this one you do for about 20 minutes, you, you know, have it on simmer, and then uh, it's ready to go. <laughs> it works for me every time. So I realized, yeah, you did. It turned into a sinus infection. So thank God I sent my kids all them goodies, and one of my daughters had a whole big jar still. So I'm able to use that, and uh, I've already. I can tell it's uh, it's already getting better. But because of all the coughing, I tore a muscle right under my rib cage. <laughs> So anyway, oh, okay, so what does one do? Well, I could take some pain medication. I can't do that either. I'm allergic to just about everything now, and, well, it's just me. What's the reason for that? Ugh, who knows, right? Oh, I know. There is a family that I know in my area, and they have a little boy about five years old, and he's been fighting cancer for two or three years now, and it's just, uh, horrific journey has, it has been for this family, and that little boy, oh my gosh, he's just such a trooper, and, uh, when I'm in the shape that I'm in right now, where, oh my gosh, I just have to bite through the pain, it's not, I offer it up. I offer it up to Spirit World, right? so Spirit World can can take that little bit right, of pain that I'm willing to just, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I can take this, so this boy will have, uh, it's like this, a little bit of this energy, that healing energy, right, yes, this is, uh, and can be brought there for him to, you know, for his system to, uh, not be in pain, uh, to, to, to able to just s sustain Yes, this is how, this is how the physical and the spiritual work together. That's how we work together. And uh, so anyway, so I'm good. I'm going, okay, for how much ever long it's going to take, I'm good. I know this isn't going to kill me. I don't need to go to the hospital or anything. You know, I just have to, okay, for as long as it takes. And I, you know, please, I see that, I just saw another post this morning going, yep, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I've got it, I got it. Yeah, that's a bit foreign to some of you, isn't it? Yes, okay, well, anyway, so, uh, who knows, huh? So if you're in pain, just not, uh, uh, offer it up, offer it, offer it. Uh, spirit world can work with that, yes, okay. So then, okay, so here we are, I've got, ever, ever since I saw that or heard about it, I kept thinking, okay, about uh, Hyung Jin Im, and his wife's visit to uh, Japan and Korea, though it seemed like they were in China with, in that one video. It seems a little bit confusing. Yeah. And, you know, I look at that, and I can't just, oh, I can't do that. That's not, that's not what I do. Again, if you guys would not be attacking True Mother in the way that you are in this group, other sanctuary church members, <laughs> I wouldn't have to do whatever you want, but you are. And, uh, no, I can't let that slide. I have to say something. I have to do something. I have to say something. What am I going to do? Right? Yeah. Try to teach you? <laughs> you, know, well, you don't want to be taught. Anyway. Uh, Damien Dunkley's uh, video is amazing, and you should listen to it. That's a true man. He understands. He gets it. Why some of you men are fighting that in the way that you are doing, I'm not getting it. I just don't understand why you do that. Uh, there are so many problems in the world through uh, abuse of women and children. And, uh, and you wanted to 
keep it that way? Or how do you think a solution is possible? Okay. <laughs> well, this has been going on for a long, long time. Anyway, so yeah, give it give it a good listen. Listen with your an open heart to mind yeah, and acknowledge yeah, and what true mother is actually trying to do. All right. All right. So uh, so he's uh, Young Jin Im is in uh, Korea, Japan, and Korea, and he's doing his thing there, and he's going to the inauguration of the new president. So I thought, oh, I'll go and check out, check up a little bit on that new president. Yeah. So one of the reasons, no doubt, that Hyung Jin Im actually was invited to that is because in 2011, where did he go? North Korea, right? And this president, so no doubt, no, it's like, oh, this guy has been there, so I could maybe get this new president and get some information from him or this or that. <clears throat> Okay, so there's a noble idea of this new president that, yeah, he's gonna, he has some ideas on how to unify the two countries, yeah, the two sides. Okay, mm. and then the next thing I see is <laughs> he's planning to move the Blue House, right? Okay, wherever, he doesn't want to stay up on that mountain. Isolated, this or that, I'm not sure. I mean, what does it matter where your residence is as the president? You can move and travel around wherever you want to, right? Okay, but that's what he wants to do. He wants to, and the people are, hey, wait a minute. What? That's the first thing on your mind? What? We don't have, do you know how much time and money it's going to cost to move all that? Yeah, or to, yeah, just, all right, relocate everybody, everything, you know, including, oh, so he's going to build another blue house where or what, or, right? And the people are like, look, we thought kind of you would, right? the economics you know, in South Korea, that should be on your mind. I don't, I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, the people feel that way. That's the South Koreans. Hey, I'm just, uh, I'm just regurgitating what I saw and read about and what the people already are unhappy about with this guy. Right? He's not even been inaugurated. Well, anyway, to get back. Um, so, again, so... <laughs> Okay, mm, maybe a bad move. On the, maybe he'll says, okay, I don't know, that's not going to work, so let's wait with that. To do, the first thing that you do is, uh, in a way, uh, take care of your own needs and your own comfort and your own whatever before you actually first deliver something to your own people as a leader. Yeah, that always kind of tells a story right there. But to get back to, uh, uh, you know, why Hyung Jin Im is there and why he actually even got invited to it, uh, no doubt is his experience that his dad and he himself had in North Korea. So what to do there? You know, I'm not sure on how this president is thinking that he's going to have North Korea submit to unification of the two sides. Now I'm thinking of Hyung Jin and what he's been teaching. I'm going, um, invade the country? I'm not sure. Is he going to pitch all the guns that his brother is making to the South Korean leader? I'm not, not sure. You know, what, what is actually going on there? And there's nothing out there. There's nobody. So if anyone knows anything here, you know, give us a little insight. Right? What the purpose is of the visit of Hyung Jin Im uh, to Korea, to South Korea, and to be a part of the inauguration of the president, the new president of South Korea, except for that looks good on his resume. <laughs> okay. So I, I give this, these things some thought. Okay, maybe I shouldn't, but I do anyway. And I thought, well, if... With the, uh, the teachings, also that Hyun Jin Im, uh, the older son, you know, he's been working or trying to put some awareness out there about reunification of both sides. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. 
that was not an easy cough. <laughs> then maybe those two should get together and, uh, and Hyung Janim should get some of the experience that his older brother has with all that as well. And maybe together they could pitch something to this new South Korean leader, including what he has in mind. And maybe, maybe that actually will move forward. That would be an amazing thing. Why would I be against that? Oh, just because. No, I'm not. It's a dumb thing to do. This isn't just about my side or anything, or your side. It should never be that way. So I thought if they could somehow establish or have some kind of a plan where at least the visiting of both sides would be open. But how do you do that without North Koreans then you know, coming to visit South Korea and they don't want to go back? And then you've got a problem again. So how to do that? How to do that? How to, in a way, teach the people of North and South Korea that if we want this, if we want at least to have open visitation of each other's families, this, that, then we have to abide by the rules that come with it for now, right? Is that going to be possible? That's very, very difficult to project right, into the future. But it might be something. If 100% goodwill comes from South Korea with that, where, no, we're not, you know, we can't stop anyone from just hiding suddenly, but uh, you know, maybe there can be something, some way, yeah, where we can, op we can have this open, yeah, an open border, per se, right, for, for relatives, for people to visit each other. I mean, they had those in the past, right? very, very uh, uh, regulated, you know, in a space, this snap, but you never know. You never know with whatever is going on in the world right now, right? and with True Mother making certain foundations as well, all over the place, maybe there is a possibility right there. I feel like there's a glimmer of hope, right? Yes? No? It has to be all done by, okay. Well, I'm just saying. That's, those were my thoughts. Yeah. I want to pray for that. And uh, I hope that in this group, you know, there's, there is something that we could all kind of just stick together. Would you not pray for this little boy? Would it matter to you if he was a part of Young Janim's family or a part of true parents' family, true mother's family? Would you not pray for that little boy? Who suffered for so long now? This boy is going through hell. With all the treatments and this and that. And then the decision making of the doctors. Not as well, he's not, he doesn't have enough of them platelets and he probably has to discontinue treatment. Well, if he discontinues treatment, is there any hope? This and that, you know. And then, you know, the next thing, okay, is he allergic to this uh, shunt or whatever, and, or which is a big problem? <coughs> <clears throat> or is the pain that he's going through again now something different? Right. We should try and unite, at least, and just pray. Give the information. I'm going to try. I will try to give more of what I find. I said, I went, look, inauguration of the drug, which is coming up. All right, so he won against them, which they only have a five-year term. That is interesting to go and read up on all this stuff in other countries. And why did Hyung Shinim actually get invited there? Right? Oh, I found that, oh, this new president actually uh, has some ideas on, uh, has somehow has something that he thinks that he can, he can progress with the unification of North and South Korea. Oh, interesting. Am yeah, I going to stand in the way of that just because I'm not happy with what you have to say about true mother? or you know, the movement or whatever, why would I do that? A selfish thing to do. I'm not going to do that. And you guys shouldn't either. So we should pool our information together and say, okay, all right. And 
Some of you, maybe you are in good contact with Hyunjunim or Kukjunim, I don't know. Okay. And said, hey, sent some ideas his way. Yeah, this is what we came up with in our group. Maybe it will help you. Yeah. It will help you in the relationship with this president and in, in uh, you know, giving, add on to some of the ideas or kind of you know, form a bigger picture and a stronger picture of how that could happen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's got to be horrible to have family on one side or the other, and you can't even see each other. How blessed are we here in this country? Yeah. How blessed are we to complain about anything we want to? <laughs> well, anyway, that's what I wanted to share this morning. So, uh, you know, I'm going to keep praying for, uh, that's why uh, I want him to have a safe trip and, uh, and a, a positive trip. And, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, one more step. I mean, true father would love nothing more. Something that yeah, wasn't done while he was alive. Couldn't be done yet. Okay? But I think we all have to work together. We can't keep this infighting stuff going on. Right? Yes? Yeah. Anywho. Okay. That's what I wanted to share. God's love and blessings always. And I will talk to you another time.